Alright guys, um, today it's a very exciting day for me. Um, I have been really waiting for this to drop. Um, I placed an order on the 8th of uh, November and if I just want to show very quickly, I'm not sure if it shows up but uh, this item was sent out on the 6th of November and it took probably about three weeks uh, and it just arrived today, right? All the way from Thailand and I'm from Malaysia, we are next door. Uh, it would technically take 18 hours for me to drive to this location, but it took three weeks for this item to arrive. Uh, so it was a a little bit annoying to wait that long uh, but it's finally here and if you've been following I have really a lot of fun building my first car which is the MX-5 drift car uh, this was my very first experience into the rear wheel drive uh, drift action uh, and first 124 scale model kit like this is the first 24 scale model kit I've kind of built right and drift car and it was really fun so I wanted to build a second one okay so what what I ordered was right, the MJRC kit right if you guys if you have a shop eye, you should already know where this is, what this is and where it comes from. And this thing is just beautiful, right? It's simplistic. Um, it's very clever engineering and I love conversion kits because you don't you don't need to reinvent the wheel. A lot of these parts are W L toys uh, parts original. Um, whatever that is changed here is necessary and you know engineered in a way to make it better uh, I have really no worries in terms of uh, spare parts everything that is altered is uh, uh, milled out of machine aluminium pieces and it's not plastic it may look like plastic but these are all aluminium parts and it's just simple elegant and beautiful Right. the engineering on this is really great I think uh, MJRC has swapped out the uh, the original springs these are really soft the mono shocks are really soft very nice I think front and back he has replaced some of these springs it's very nice uh, there's actually quite a bit of travel uh, at the back a little bit lesser travel on the front but it's the front is very soft um, there's, there's very nice ground clearance and everything so I can't wait to build this up and uh, while waiting for the kit to arrive I have actually placed orders for all my parts necessary to build up this guy so today I'm just going to run through what I've got and my what's my second project and if you can see here, right, I am looking at building this Supra GR. So the 2020 model, I I love my JDMs, I love my Japanese tuner cars, and again I can I am really into like roadster style cars and that shows in the uh, MX5 or the Miata. And now um, I I wanna build this guy. Uh, again, I am no professional model kit builder. Right? I am learning all of this as we go. Um, picking up everything from the internet and also from YouTube like any normal person. Right? So maybe I, I can quickly run through what are the electronic bits that I have chosen to throw into this car. Um, number one would be the ESC and Moto, which is the rocket brushless systems I am not going for anything super high-end I want to keep this on a 
on a mid-range-ish budget, not too cheap and not extremely expensive. The whole idea of all this is to build this running drift car with a budget of like a professional kit maybe, right? I don't know, maybe lesser than that if possible. So Rocket ESC brushless combo, again, if you are a vivid follower of this uh, community, you should already know what this is. I can't remember what KV Moto is this, but it's the black one. Does it say? Okay, so it's a 2500 KV motor with a 10M ESC, which is, uh, sorry, it's a 18M ESC. Okay, so this should be probably mid range, I assume. It's not super high end, not super cheap. I am going for a micro servo this time. Now this is the AFRC version 2, I think. I got this because it's cheaper than the version 3, right? Obviously, there is a version 3 out and yeah, I thought I saved some money. I do not know. Again, I'm going into this ignorant. I think I probably won't need to spend that extra money on a V3. I'm, I'm not a professional drifter. I do not know if I can tell the difference. If you compare this to my previous Miet MX-5, you can see that I'm using a 110 scale uh, gyro and there's no way to fit it properly into the body. Hence, it's I have to cut out the body to fit the gyro. It kind of gives a very distinct and unique look to the car, but this time around, it's going to be inside the car and it's not going to be sticking out and being visible all right um, so this is the v2 not the v3 for steering servo uh, my previous car i had this one mini servo from agt this guy is expensive uh, this is probably half the price of this uh, more than half the price of this one and there's a lot of good reviews on this. I don't know, right? I, I probably can't tell the difference anyway. I am not a professional drifter again. Let's see how this goes. If this runs well for the price, you know, I think this is good enough. If not, then maybe we can swap out to a better one. So we'll see about that. And for the receiver, this is again the same receiver that I use for my Mazda. This is the X. Is this is the Dumbo RC receiver with the light combo? So it's a Dumbo RC X6F. All right. So this this is the one that does six channels with the light combo. So it has already the headlights, the brake lights, the turning signals, and everything all built into this. All I need to do is just plug it in and solder my LEDs together and I am good to go which is the exact same thing I'm doing for this car my Mazda and just some cosmetic bits again this is aluminium mill exhaust pipes these are actual aluminium bits uh, they are very scale looking very nice looking I also bought some for I also bought the same one for the Mazda the only problem is it doesn't I will kind of have to drill through this piece of aluminium to fit my LEDs because I'm going to do the lighting thing for this new car um, and drilling through a aluminium piece that as that is this thick is gonna be a little bit difficult and a bit annoying so it's gonna be a bit of a challenge now we're coming come to the last bit uh, which is the Supra I took the body out everything is still brand new in packaging I haven't opened anything yet but I uh, kind of had to make sure that the body fits right so I actually took it out of the packaging and then test fit and I had to make some adjustment to the chassis again this is not the wheels that I'll be using these are just placeholders I have fancy rims coming in the mail 
and 22 inch wheels this this car doesn't sit well on this 20 inch one it's too small so it needs to be on the 22s um, so I had to move I had to move the uh, the wheel base a little bit uh, let me let me bring my ruler to see what's the the wheel base for this just a second okay so I have I am readjusting the wheel base right so right now it is at approximately 102 mm 102 mm right now right for it to sit well on the Supra originally it's the same as uh, the MX-5 so the original wheelbase was 96 so the original wheelbase when I received it out of the mail today it was 96 and I had to extend the wheelbase a little bit um, most of the holes are already there um, I kinda had to drill three more extra holes at the bottom yeah I forgot to inform MJRC that I need it at this uh, wheelbase length uh, I'm pretty sure he would have done it for me no issues but um, I had to manually drill this in which is not too much of a issue for me uh, I have no problem uh, working with my own hands so um, I'm ch I'm I actually started drilling halfway and a drill ran out of battery so I couldn't finish it I will finish it after the video but uh, let's see how it goes okay so um, again this is going to be a build series I'm going to update everything as I go and uh, if you like it then follow this build um, if you think it's mad then it's fine <laughs> alright cool uh, this is hard on